Hi, and welcome back to Type 1 Diabetes Explained. Today, we're going to take a look at ways to help you lower your blood sugar if it is too high. We'll first start by looking at ways to prevent high blood sugars in the first place, and later we'll look at ways to lower your blood sugar if it does go high. An easy way to prevent high blood sugars is by carefully watching the carbohydrates in the foods that you are eating. By reducing the amount of high density carbohydrates, you can reduce the amount and severity of large swings in your blood sugar. Now, this doesn't mean you have to get rid of sweets altogether, but everything should be in moderation. Instead of eating a whole donut, split it with someone, or eat part now and part later. Another way to help keep your blood sugar from going too high is to make sure that you are dosing with insulin well ahead of when you are planning to eat, usually 15 to 20 minutes. This allows the insulin to get into the bloodstream and be ready to go by the time the first carbohydrates are arriving. If you wait to dose until just a few minutes before you eat, then the insulin won't be in the bloodstream soon enough and your blood sugars may spike. Timing insulin and carbs like this may help you avoid drops in your blood sugar. Additionally, keeping hydrated can help your kidneys more effectively remove excess sugar through your urine. Weight loss can also help increase your insulin sensitivity, which means your cells are able to use the insulin in your bloodstream more effectively. Reducing stress will also reduce the release of stress hormones, which can trigger the liver to release glucose, raising your blood sugar. Prevention is the best way to reduce high blood sugars, but there will be times when your blood sugar goes high, even if you did everything you could to prevent it in the first place. The first and most obvious method to treat this is to correct with insulin. Make sure to use the correction ratio that your doctor gave you to calculate how many units of insulin to dose with. After you have corrected, wait a little bit and see if your blood sugars are responding. If your blood sugars don't respond in 30 to 45 minutes or however long your doctor instructs, then correct again. Always follow your doctor's instructions for how much and how often to correct if your blood sugar is high. The other main way you can bring your blood sugar down if it is high is to exercise. If you're just sitting around, then your cells don't need much glucose to carry out their daily functions. But if you get up and get moving, they need a lot more fuel. You don't need to run a marathon to make a difference. Even just some quick pacing back and forth or going up and down a flight of stairs can help reduce your blood sugar. Often exercising can be more effective at reducing your blood sugar than insulin. As always, be careful while you are exercising, as sometimes it can be too effective and cause your blood sugar to go low. Ask your doctor about how to stay safe while exercising. If you exercise regularly, you are likely to have much more control over your blood sugar than if you don't. Most of the time, you will be able to reduce your blood sugar by using insulin or exercising a little. But if you are not able to reduce it, call your doctor immediately, as your body could go into diabetic ketoacidosis. If you have any of the symptoms below paired with high blood sugar, call your doctor immediately. Presence of ketones in your urine for several hours, confusion, excessive thirst, excessive urination, nausea, shortness of breath, stomach pain, and vomiting. Hopefully you now know more about how to prevent your blood sugar from going high and how to treat it if it does. As always, consult your doctor about what is best for you. For more helpful resources, visit our website at t1dexplained.org.